everyone, Chuck Put on here and welcome back. I am very excited. This is actually an unexpected video, but I thought I'd throw this out there because Comedy Central just released their pilot episode for Everybody Still Hates Chris, which is based off of the 2005 sitcom Everybody Hates Chris with Tyler James Williams, Terry Crews, and a bunch of other notable names. So I'm really excited to check out the first episode. I don't know if we'll continue the series. I don't know if it's even going to be like my cup of tea. I really enjoyed the sitcom, the live action sitcom, but this is going to be different because obviously everyone from the previous sitcom has aged up and has gone on to other things and different projects. So obviously the casting is going to be different, the voice acting is going to be different, and it's animated this time around. So this is a little bit different for a bunch of reasons, but I'm excited to check it out. I hope you guys are too. Um, like I said, I don't know if we're going to continue this, but this is just kind of a let's check it out, let's see how it is kind of video. But I'm excited to jump into it, so sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy my reaction to Everybody Still Hates Chris, Season 1, Episode 1. Life is a test. My biggest test was an actual test. The GED. The test you take... Oh, right, 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 right. Because in the in the sitcom, it ended off in the GED episode where he got High his... He it's like had to get his scores. It's like an morning after pill. I decided to drop out because I was taking three buses to a white school where a redhead would beat my black ass. But with the GED, I could get a good job and start fresh. So I couldn't wait oh, to get my continuation. What's the say? You failed. Do what? Once, boy, I'ma slap you in the animation. Ow. Oh. Good lord. Do you know how hard it is to fail the GED? Oh my gosh. Okay, so first off, I'm going to give my opinion here. That really bums me out because I know that they kind of left off on a cliffhanger hoping that he did pass. And so they're kind of tying it into the sitcom in that sense. But still, that sucks because, like, I thought this was a whole new thing. I didn't think he actually was going to fail the GED from the previous sitcom. Ah, oh, that sucks. And he has two GEDs. I can't believe you slapped me. I can't believe you made me throw my back out. Excuse me. My son failed his GED, and I'd like to return his food. Uh, you only ate four cents worth of fries. So does this mean I'm the smart one now? Drew. You're eating a straw. Cool. That's my brother Drew. Everyone thought I was his younger brother. He never worried about tests, because the only thing greater than white privilege is hot privilege. Daddy, oh since Chris failed, does that mean it's okay for us to drop out, smoke crack, and become strippers? No, baby. What the hell? See what you did, Chris? Where did that even come from? Tanya would have never said something like that in front of her parents. She literally was the never. Youngest and my dad's favorite. Her test was how she could make my life a living hell. I was gonna get stuck in Bedstein, do or die, where I was gonna die of embarrassment. Back in 87, we didn't have social media. But on my block, at least 87 people knew your business before you got home. I can't what? four hair pointers to make this cake for Chris. <sighs> oh, well. Wow. Little dude from across the street. Oh! I heard you failed you gonna hold the dollar. Even our friendly neighborhood con, Jerome, was disappointed in me. And he just mugged a baby. Wow. Mm -hmm. Jerome. Daddy, Aww. can I get dance lessons after you cut Chris off financially? Of course, baby. Cut me off? When did you cut me on? If you're not going to school, you gotta get a job or get out. I can't have your sister oh, wow. and thinking it's okay to be a bum. We can't kick Chris out of the house. As that school is our best option, so you don't end up on these streets. It's scary out there. Crackheads, gangs, that white man in a Larry Bird jersey. <laughs> Tenth grade was the worst year of my life. Not including the year I had a Jerry curl. <laughs> and now I had to do it all over again. But maybe this was just a new test. What about Greg, though? Greg's not going to be there either. Fresh clothes from our renter upstairs, Mr. Omar. Ah, here is a fine, oh lightly gosh. used item at an affordable price. Did someone die in it? This from your funeral home. Yes. That ain't none of your business. That's between me and my dead client. <laughs> What's up about that? You said that was from slapping Chris. I lied to make him do better in school. It's called parenting. Duh. But we don't have new mattress money. We haven't slept well in years. You bought this one used off a pimp. It's a pimp pleading. We are not getting a new mattress. Well, then nothing's gonna happen on this one. Uh-huh. That look <laughs> says I'm getting a third job. 
Are you like me now? Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love this new not raggedy look. My you look good. Hated raggedy. She was a ghetto snob. She always said we weren't rich enough to look poor. How'd you afford all that? That looks like forty dollars worth of clothes. Mr. Omar sold me a dead man's clothes real cheap. And I've been <laughs> buying a lot of people's clothes all this time. Oh my gosh. No. It's late. You boys better get going. Drew! It was Drew's freshman year. And for the first time, oh, in, Drew's while, in high we'd school. Be at the same school. I was hoping with my new clothes he wouldn't outshine me. That's cool. Whoa, you don't look raggedy. Hello. Boys like candy. Ew! Get out of here, weirdo. I can't believe this is how you've been getting to school. I wasn't sure about Drew going to school with me, but at that moment... Well, honestly, this so might be good for I... you, though, because your brother has such a, like... He's always so popular. He has such a charisma with people. I feel like this would be a very helpful thing to actually have him maybe help you make friends wasn't this time around. Drew? <laughs> my friends from the dojo are offering me a ride, so... When it came to women, oh my, my brother was like Idris Elba. Is Cruz so Cruz is not here. Girls ignore me. <sighs> Big guys wanna hurt me. Oh. Little guys are suspicious of me. <gasps> There's two of them now. And all the adults here are whack. Hello, students. Is Miss Morello Hello, still here? Wishing you a great first day back at school. <laughs> She's the and principal. A shout out to my home buddy Chris. Oh boy. Not get his GED, but it's not his fault. The test wasn't in Ebonics. Girl. The only guy I knew was having a bad day too. Hey Chris. Yeah, I don't know why you thought Drew, who again has so much charisma with people. Him, my oh. best friend Greg. Sorry, I can't be seen with you. I thought you'd be happy I'm back. I am, but what would people say if they saw me with Drew's brother? Drew's brother? It's what they're calling me now. Okay. Let's see if I can buy Drew lunch. I'll give you my Cheetos. Fine. Oh, Cheetos. Ugh, that stuff is crack. <gasps> oh, oh he's good enough for stop. Jesus to walk on. It's good enough for you to sleep on. Julius? Rochelle, uh, what are you doing here? The temp agency sent me. Did you take on the third job behind my bad bag? Yes. Uh, now we can double our discount on a new van? <laughs> Julius, that is so goddamn romantic. They said to oh check in with the supervisor. I'm the supervisor. Ah, finally have a job. I won't have to quit. I'm going on break. But oh my gosh, she's going to take advantage of Rochelle. Here. <laughs> they may look like urban preppies, but these Ralph Lauren fans call themselves the Low Heads, and they're the latest gang to terrorize the streets of what New York, the hell? joining others like the Decepticons and the Boys Choir of Harlem. That's not a gang, that's a glee club. Are you in a gang? Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, and I go by Lil Horsey now. Looks like Lil Horsey found a way to pass the test. Uh, sir, I can help you. <gasps> sir? Sir! As <sighs> me and my unkicked ass headed home, something weighed on my mind. <coughs> hey, dummy. Back then, even the walls hated me. You did the right thing, born idiot. Car fumes must be getting to me. Car fumes must be getting to me. Why are you being a little bitch? I can't oh my God. Fake being in the game. It'll get me in trouble with a real game. <laughs> I, I should have stayed raggedy. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, don't apologize to me. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna pray for you, baby. Chris, I better not miss my chance to learn dance techniques developed by my all time favorite artist. What do you like about Elder Bard so much? Um, he's a generational talent being held back by his no talent siblings, just like me. Okay. Okay, so this is the dance class. Okay. Your elder dead. They locked the door because she was late to practice. Back to school, faking gang status up my real status. Even Thurman was scared. I'm going to the bathroom. You, you, you need a pass? This is my pass, homie. <gasps> oh that my god. It wasn't a gang sign. It was sign language for butterflies. Is that true? Hundreds of jobs I've had. Wives are the real decision makers. When clueless husbands make purchases like this all alone, their wives return them and the store loses money. Look, a sale is a sale. Who knows if those guys will come back? I'm back. 
You know what? Uh oh. I don't no, need no, this. Don't say it. My man has three jobs. And you barely have one, Kevin. Oh wow. Dude, your rep at the school has never mm. been higher. Oh. So now you're willing to be seen with Drew's brother. Yeah. yeah. You have status, and I want to get in there. Why aren't they fighting? They wanted to join my game. I said they had to jump themselves in. Wow. I haven't had sex, but I know this is better than that. Oh my god. But Chris, we have a zero tolerance policy for this kind of thing. But good news. Why did we let it go on this long? a new program called GRIP. Gang resistance is important? Yes. So important, and I want to help you get a grip on your life. Mm -hmm. All right, so what is it? Some kind of extra class? That's where we're in kind of a pickle. Excuse me, a fried okra. The district doesn't what? have money for the actual program, but we have t-shirts. Okay. So I'm off the hook? No, so you're this doesn't help it anymore. You want some onesies for all your babies? <gasps> oh, shit. Tanya, what, what are you doing are here? You doing here? I leave two hours after you, fool. That's oh, because she like... went to the local school, Lamont Sanford Junior High. Wait a second. Are you cutting class? Yeah. Yes. But you're not cool enough to cut. <gasps> you got suspended. But then why is there fear in your eyes? <gasps> you got expelled. Fine. Oh my yes. God. Don't snitch on me, okay? Please. Okay. Like she wouldn't. Would you let me hold ten back? I don't know why After you even gave her the money. Over, I'd have to sneak back out to walk back in. Couldn't have doubted you. And I'm really she literally was sucking at that job. Like, I don't know why they're trying to make us feel bad. She did a shitty job. And that's not the Rochelle we know. The Rochelle we know did quit a lot. But she also seemed like she had some sense as far as, like, when to really take something seriously. Like, I didn't get that image at all from her that she was a lazy, like take advantage yada yada like i didn't get all that in okay. the... well i forgive you what oh, i lied i did fall asleep on the job oh, yeah no I shit know. we know that i don't have your stamina to deal with so much foolishness at work sure i'd have to pull this off every day until i convince my folks to let me take the ged again but for now things were good Chris got expelled. <gasps> uh, Tanya. Really, Chris? Really, Tanya? That's for Elder Barge. Expelled? What did you do? He joined a gang. Drew! Mm. What? A gang? I was faking it, okay? That could get you in a lot of trouble, son. Now, why would you do something so dumb? Because maybe I'm dumb, Oh, right? like falling asleep at work. That's what the test said, didn't it? I'm just tired of getting beat up every day. I needed a fresh start. Bad enough I have to be back at school at all. You brought this on yourself. Missing so much class. Which wasn't my fault. Thurman sent me to the principal's office for no reason all the time. I missed tests. That's why I dropped out. Wait, what? Baby, I had no idea. Son is not dumb. Maybe your machine is dumb. Look, I ran the test is again dumb. and... Wait, there's an error code. A what? Seems like he used a number three pencil instead of a number two. The machine couldn't read his test. A number three pencil? Where did oh, he did he pass? That? Oh, no. Doc, these are marked fifty percent off. I also have a double coupon and a rebate. Negative dollar fifty three. Hmm. I think I have to pay you. Oh this my gosh! This is the greatest day of my life. Did he pass then? Hi. Um. Can you manually regrade his test? No. We have a policy. I can't give your son special treatment. Because that's what's wrong with the world. Black kids getting all that special treatment. Julius, get the truck. Any form of gang activity violates our rules. He was lying about being in the gang. And I guess I was But just if he passed the GED, it doesn't matter. Why are we doing this? Like, go find out a, a way to get it regraded or something. I had to do that to feel safe at school. But that's probably for the attorneys to figure out. <laughs> uh, uh, attorneys? Yeah, some big law firm said they would take this on pro bono. Am I saying that right? Uh, maybe. Gosh. I was a little hasty about expelling Chris. Yeah. And having him repeat the 10th grade because a teacher was harassing him. Oh, I forgot to tell the attorneys that part. We can move Chris to the 11th grade. Thank oh, my you. gosh. Besides, my son couldn't really be in the gang. This boy still has a snork's nightlight. <sighs> well. Mom. Dad. I'm sorry I caused all this trouble. Chris, 
The reason we're hard on you is because the world is harder. But even if you fail a test, I'll be damned if you fail in life. We've got you, no matter what. Unless you bring home some babies. <laughs> What's this? Number, Number two, two pencil. Pencil. Pay full price. To vibe in high school. But maybe I'd make new friends, meet new girls, and have new adventures. Maybe, maybe. this was a test I could actually pass. Hey! Oh Putin's shit! Windbreaker. He's wearing our dead homie's windbreaker. <gasps> Get him! Uh oh! Pop quiz! <laughs> oh shoot! Um. Mm, okay. So that was the first episode of Everybody Still Hates Chris. I don't know how I feel about that. There's some some things that there are. Okay, let's break it down. I'm, I like the references. I like the the homages that they're paying to the sitcom. I like that it's a continuation of the sitcom. It just bums me out because I, I was hoping that, that, was, that this was a fresh start, that this wasn't the same as the sitcom, only because the sitcom left off with the GED thing, and I really wanted it to just be that, you know, it was implied that he passed. So really sad to know that he really didn't pass the GED and that they're kind of undoing all the the like all undoing all the knots from the sitcom basically and it kind of sucks and the fact that greg doesn't really feel the same because i don't feel like greg and chris would have ever had that kind of weird where greg was like i can't be seen with you you're uncool like greg you were always uncool they were all they were both uncool always I don't know, and a lot of people might disagree with me. A lot of people might be like, well, you're thinking too hard into the series. I think you're forgetting what the characters were really like. And that's possible because I haven't seen Everybody Hates Chris in, in a while. But I just feel like this might have the same charm, but it's not going to have that same feel of the live action, which it's not intending to. But I don't know how it's going to do as far as like maybe going beyond a season because I feel like they're trying to introduce a new generation to Everybody Hates Chris. And it's either going to hit or it's going to miss. Because they're obviously going to have to do more modernized jokes, more modern day humor, which can very easily crumble a series just because what's modern in this time you're writing it is not modern then and it becomes, it becomes irrelevant. It's not funny. But I don't know. It, there's a lot going on here. But I, I will say that I like the animation. I thought it was going to be harder with the animation changes. I thought that, that was going to be ch uh, difficult to adapt to, but actually I really like the animation. The background scenery is great. The comedy is still kind of there. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's elements. There's elements. It, it could work. It, it's only the pilot, so maybe it gets better. Maybe it gets worse. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the series? Will you be watching it? Will you be continuing? Or will you always go back to the original sitcom? And what do you like? What do you hate about this series? And let me know all that down in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys, bye.